putt. Goddamn, get it done with ya. Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We run into. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go over a common, common problem, which I know applies to the M52 B25 and the M52 B23, as well as some of the M52 B30s as well, which my one doesn't apply to that because my one doesn't have this issue. But we're gonna go over why your M52 is actually burning oil and how to stop it and how to rectify it on your M52 engine. So as many of you guys know, this is the M52 engine. Now, what a lot of people are not aware of is this engine and people come to realize it after they buy them, starts using oil. You can replace every component on the car and it would still burn oil. And I'm gonna to explain to you why that is. So the first reason for that is the B23 engine uses a different valve stem seal design. And the valve stem seals end up leaking down and then blowing blue smoke and the valve stem seals end up blowing. It's a common, common problem on the B23. Also the piston rings were bad by design on the B23 and B25s. And as they age, they weaken, and the tolerances for the oil end up becoming less and less. So these engines end up eating a lot of oil, just like the M54 engine. A lot of people end up buying the 2525, 325, 323, 523. And they're the most common ones for burn oil. You don't really hear about it on a B30. I did have the issue on this engine when I got it, and I sorted it. You guys know I told you about the sump where I dropped the sump, just lowered the bolts on the subframe while lifting the car up and then sealed around the sump because there was no point in placing the gasket because it would leak again around 20,000 miles and you'll be back doing the same job. So you use a special sealant, which I don't have any at the moment here and it seals around all the sump gasket and you can do that and I've told many of you before how to do that. The next one to stop your engine burning oil as well is a lot of people are undisbelieved to lose 5W30 oil change the oil the higher the mileage if your car's over 100,000 miles use 5w40 i have been using this for the last two years on this car with no issues and i've noticed a significant improvement this car does not use oil the same way it does for the 5w30 now bmw's philosophy of that is the same like the s85 engine if it uses its own oil and the oil gets out of the engine you're having to retop it up with new new fresh oil which then means longer service intervals and that was the same for the s85 that's what bmw's belief was by making a car use oil you're having to constantly top it up with new oil which then means you don't have to have it serviced so regularly and that was bmw's way of being able to try and sell these engines with long service interval over other manufacturers because their engines don't need regular servicing which makes it cheaper to own in the long run then a regular car that needs an oil change every three to four thousand miles when the computer says we're on these they were saying nearly for they were saying nearly 10 to 13,000 miles on these engines, same as the S85, because they use their own oil. That's just not the case. And because of that reason, people doing that in the beginning, this is what made the piston rings go bad and all the valve stem seals. And this is why you have to change it oil regularly. You guys already know on the F2 engine, I use 5W40, always have and always will on this engine. A lot of you guys are still using 5W30. I recommend not to use that. Another thing you can use on this engine is if your engine is still burning oil, is to use the Forte oil fortifier. What that does is thicken the oil to stop it burning oil inside and it works very, very well. I used it once on this engine as well to stop it and I've never had any issues since. And I've done thousands and thousands of miles without having to top up the oil and it's always stayed on the max and I tell everyone that. That's what I want to hear about this engine oil burning problem. Most of it is just down to people using the wrong grade oil or doing it incorrectly and not knowing how to sort it. So I'm here to tell you the best way to sort that to get your engine not burn oil is to use the Forte oil fortifier and change your oil over from the regular 5W30 that BMW recommend for these engines to 5W40. As I said, I've used it many times, not had an issue and I've been using it for the last two years fully. You guys see me on every oil change, I use 5W40 throughout. The only one I follow the manufacturer specs is with my M5, which is 10W60 and that's because that engine needs to be followed correctly. Where the M52, you don't have to worry too much. Change it to 5W40. If your engine oil problems are still going, go to 5W50. It doesn't really matter. The oil velocity, to be fair, you could even go to 10W40 as well, depending on what you wanted to do. But I would highly recommend 5W40. I've used that as well as Forte oil fortifier and it stopped all my problems. As I said, I did the sump on this when I first got it and this is before I started YouTube. Sealed all the sump up and I've not had no issues with any oil leaking or anything on this engine. So if you guys follow my advice, your M52 engine will stop burning oil. 
But if you are still burning oil as well, and as I said, the piston rings are bad by design on this. The reason the piston rings go bad anyway is because of this right up here, which is the CCV system that sits underneath here, where people, it ruptures, they don't change it, and it ends up dumping oil back into the combustion chamber because it can't return it because either a cracked hose or it's going in a manifold, then being swallowed into the engine, into the combustion chamber to be burnt off. So that's another thing I recommend that you check as well as the CCV because that will cause you to burn oil if that ain't been changed on your car. I do have a video up showing you how to change that. So if you're not aware of that, go and change it and make sure you actually change your CCV because that's responsible for returning oil back to the sump. If that's not working or functioning correctly, you will, you will have your oil going into the manifold, straight back into the combustion chamber to be burnt off. So I recommend you change the CCV out as well. As Like I said, change your oil velocity. Make sure you change it, guys. Like I said, I know a lot of you want to follow BMW's recommendations, but 5W30 is good, up to 100,000 miles. As these engines get older and more mileage get on them, 5W40 is the best way to protect all the engine internals because the engine internals are getting older. They need more protection. So 5W40 is the best oil I can completely recommend for these M52 engines. Do not go by what BMW state or 5W30. It's just not critical. And that's why your engine is drinking this oil very, very quick. It's too thin and it will drink the oil. And then you'll be topping up and topping up, which then ends up making this engine expensive. And you're better off to end up with an M5 if your car your M52 engine is actually drinking oil because that's exactly what the M5 will do as well. So I hope this has cleared up a lot of things for you guys who keep coming to me with that your M52 is burning oil. How do you fix it? How do you repair it? I know I get a comment probably every single day about this item and then people ask me if this applies for M52 B25 because their one's actually burning oil. They don't know what to do and people have got the M52 B23 and their one's burning oil. As I said, that engine is a common problem for valve stem seals and you will see that you're blowing blue smoke. Don't bother changing your CCV and, all, and everything over. It's not going to repair it. You'll change it all. Still find out you've still got the valve stem seal failure. So my best advice would be to make sure you rectify the valve stem seal problem. The B25 suffers with a piston ring bad by design. So therefore, just change your oil velocity and use the Forte oil fault file, which should help your piston rings long term and should help your oil as well last in the engine without it being burnt off. As I said, I've done these things. My F2 engine now runs like a dream and does not burn oil. So I hope it's going to have cleared up a lot of things for you and for two guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.